File 7B. Listening. Really excited about Ladies and gentlemen, could I have your attention, please? Thank you. And welcome to Shakespeare's birthplace in Henley Street. We start our tour here, in the garden of the house. Look at the trees, plants and flowers all around you. All of them were mentioned by Shakespeare in his plays. Now, this is also the perfect place to look closely at the outside of the house. It was probably built sometime in the early 16th century, as we can see from the style of the house. The walls are made of wood and clay, and the house has two floors. This house was Shakespeare's home from when he was born until he was 33, which means that much of his life took place here. He was born in 1564 and spent all of his childhood here. He got married in 1582 and his wife, Anne Hathaway, came to live with him here after they got married. And all three of their children were born here. So you see, the house played an extremely important role in Shakespeare's life. Now, as you're walking through the house, I'd like you to pay special attention to the windows. Many famous people have visited Shakespeare's birthplace and, in the past, they were allowed to write their names on the glass. <laughs> See if you can recognise any of the signatures. There are a lot of famous ones, from Charles Dickens to Winston Churchill. Right, if you'd like to come this way then, please. We're going to start on the ground floor, and the first room we're going to visit is the Great Hall. Are you all in? Well, as you can see, the name of this room, the Great Hall, is a bit of an exaggeration, actually. As you can see, it's not particularly big. In the 16th century, a hall meant a room, rather than what it means today. Mm. However, the fact that the house had a hall at all shows that the Shakespeare family were quite wealthy. This is where the whole family came to eat the main meal of the day together. The furniture is as it probably was in Shakespeare's time. If you look at the fireplace over there, you can see the kind of things that the family used for cooking. <clears throat> Now, we're going to walk to a room at the back of the house, which was used by Shakespeare's father. Please, follow me. <laughs> now, Shakespeare's father, John, was a glover, which means he made gloves. He owned his own company, which is where the family got their money from, as the company was quite successful. This room is where he made the gloves. When you're ready, we'll go back to the Great Hall and climb the original staircase. At the top is the room where William Shakespeare, the greatest English writer of all time, was born. Oh.